Say hi. Go oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Let's go. Okay, so back for the, the first two songs. I'm going to do two separate videos and upload them in the space of like an hour. So bear with me because I'm going to timer them. And it's the first part of Super Saturday. Latvia and Lithuania I will do tomorrow before I go back to the gym. Um, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It has just been announced for Ukraine with Vidbeer that Alina Pasha just won with... I don't even know the name of the song. I can't read Cyrillic. Oh, cool, va. Lou here, hi. Thank you for subscribing. Um, my name's Laura. For some reason, people call me Slav. As you can tell, I'm an absolute mess right now because it's just been announced and you're going to go on the journey with me. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe. So the song is called Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. I feel so bad saying that. Um, if you're watching from Ukraine, Dobrovetsche, I think that's right. Or Privyat. Um, let's get reacting. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm running around like a headless chicken. And let's go and react to this lady right here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on my Israel video, I got copyrighted. So I'm going to have to put my finger over this so you can kind of hear it, kind of can't hear it. Um, just at the fact that I can't be copyrighted. It's just illegal to my life. Um, but as I've said, from Alina Pash, the song is called um, Shadows of Our Forgotten Ancestors. Can I just say that Jamala looked amazing tonight and Tina Carroll just looked... Oh, I stan her for life. I don't even care. Please let me know below if you're a Tina Carroll fan or stan because I adore that lady so much. I actually do. I, re I respect that lady so much. Um, I did watch a bit of Vidbeer, but then I moved to Estilal and then I moved to Melfest um so I'm, I'm a bit all over the place if i'm honest i didn't hear alina i won't show you just in case okay i didn't expect that beginning so i sort of shit myself not literally, oh my god, not literally. But I sort of shit myself. I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> it sounded like she was in a forest or a rainforest and there was random birds like flying everywhere. I'm really sweaty, oh my god. Um, Random birds flying everywhere, but she looks, I'll try. She looks very authentic. Um, Apparently she's from a small town in Ukraine. Can someone comment below where she's from? Um, What small town in Ukraine? Um because she looks absolutely phenomenal here if you haven't seen this performance i will link it in my description um so you can go and check it out as well if you're not from ukraine or you didn't watch vidbeer um but she looked unreal at the minute like the dark reds the black lighting it's very dim and mysterious right now and i'm liking that a lot and it's very different to shum last year It's nice to see a live audience again, again, again as well. She's very mysterious. I like this background of her. I'm really trying not to get copyrighted. Of her there and her eyes there. It's it's like a um a song for the soul, if that makes sense. Um. Like, it's making you look back on what your ancestors were and the forgotten ones that you didn't even know about. Like, I've traced my family past, but I'm sure I've got plenty of other ancestors. I'm sure you have as well. Pre-Dr. Pepper in the background, other brands are available. Um, this, uh, yeah, it's very mysterious and very mystic. And I like, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit weird. I like stuff like that. And it reminds me of The Witcher on Netflix. If you haven't seen that, watch it. This is exactly what it reminds me of. I stan. I fucking stan. She's got a stunning smile though. Oh wow. So she's singing in English and Ukrainian. Oh wow, I didn't even know that. Wow. So does that mean this is going to get a revamp? 
or is she going to stay the same? I can picture this in Turing being very, very mystic and dark and mystical, if that makes sense. My neighbours are shouting, please shut the fuck up, big man. Imagine this being very mystical and dim and dark and mysterious and very Witcher-like. And I stand. This is very different to Shum last year with... Um, yeah, I probably sang that wrong, sorry. I'm not very good at Ukrainian. <laughs> um, all, I need, all I know is Tina Carroll's scandal. Um, I'm shit at Ukrainian. Um, yeah, this, this is probably just going to be so mystical, and I stand that. Everyone in the background is, like, dressed mystically as well, like old-fashioned. Wow. Wow, she's she's talking from the heart there. Wow. She looks like she's gonna cry. I didn't I didn't um I didn't expect that, if I'm honest. Wow. The rap, I don't, I, I say this is a rap, it's more like a monologue. I feel like it needs to be um, spoken more than what you call rapped. Um, it needs to be spoken because that's very powerful what she's saying. Um, this, yeah, this needs to be spoken and meaningful, which is, and it's very relevant right now for what's going on over there. It's just, I feel so sorry for everyone in Ukraine right now. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry Boris got involved because Boris is a cunt. Um, yes, we all hate Boris Johnson over here. She looks like she's going to cry. This could be in a film. Dear, honestly, this, this could be in a film. I could see this in a film. Like, you know, like ending credits or when someone goes to war. If anyone's seen the Scandinavian TV show Equinox or The Witcher or like a Game of Thrones type of thing, that's that's what I'm picturing with it. I like the fact that she's bilingual as well in this because we didn't have we haven't had that for a while from Ukraine. Oh, she's crying in the background. Oh. She's singing notes. Yes. Very patriotic. She looked like she was having a sex show just then. Oh, don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Okay, don't cry for one. And final thoughts don't cry it's very patriotic after seeing the end scenes very patriotic i do like this song it's very different from the past couple years especially last year and we loved go a we literally love go a um i can see this in a netflix film or tv series it's very patriotic and not about ancestral stuff um like the witcher or game of thrones type thing or like equinox if you've seen it on netflix if you haven't i highly recommend it it's a bit fucking weird but you'll you'll get what i mean um i stand this a lot and the fact she's got ancestral clothing on including her backing singers she doesn't need a lot on stage she does not need a lot on stage at all um i'd rather have it and keep it the way it is <coughs> keep it the way it is excuse me um I just want to know if she's going to do a revamp because I don't think that needs it. If she does, can you let me know in the comments below? Because I don't think that needs it, if I'm honest with you. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Don't forget to like or subscribe and comment down below. I'll be back in about an hour with Estonia because it's just been announced that Stefan won with his song. Um, bit gutted about Stig, but it's what it is. But anyway, don't forget to like or subscribe and I will see you very soon.